Hey guys, Nabil here. Well, today's topic of this video was definitely not on my bingo card. We're gonna talk about a potential Neo Geo themed handheld. I know, crazy, right? So we're gonna get right into it and talk about it, its meaning, and what I think about the leaked specification of this device, of this supposed device. But before we do that, a gentle reminder as usual to leave a like. I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers before the release of Fatal Fury State of the Worlds, and only you can make that happen by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not done so, and tick the notification bell. Let's get to it. All right, so this came out kind of nowhere. Um, uh, I noticed this first on uh, Twitter, uh, specifically on the, uh, the account by Twitter handle or X handle Neo C cover A or CVC version A, I guess. Um, and it's supposedly early designs. Let's let me go ahead. Hold on, let me go ahead and, and uh and do this here quickly. All right, let me just stay here so I'm not in the way. All right, so this is what we're looking at. We're looking, this is supposedly a Unico device. All right, so Unico, if you don't know what Unico is, they actually worked on some Neo Geo theme. A hardware before they are the one behind the uh, MVSX. Now, unfortunately, I don't have that. I didn't get to review what I tried, but I got to see it briefly at SNK office when I visited SNK in in Japan in Osaka, and it looks really good actually. Um, you know, uh, this is basically a uh, a cabinet like a small uh, uh, bar cabinet uh, with Neo Geo um, games, right? And it's pretty cool with the red. Uh, the red uh, color and everything is fantastic. Unica also did, uh, you know, a couple other themed uh, or, or projects where they had Neo Geo games on them. One of them is the most popular one is a version of the Neo Geo Mini. Uh, you know, the Neo Geo Mini that came out a few years ago, they had a version of it uh, in red. Uh, and that's the, I think it's most popular uh, device. Now this supposed Unico uh, device is a handheld. Right, called the Unico Pocket, and it says SNK Corporation. It comes with classic included and in featuring games, 40 games. We're gonna take a look here at the, the games that they're gonna have, supposedly, and then we'll look at the design. So, 40 classic Neo Geo games, all right? King of Fighters 95, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, and 2, Metal Slug, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug 4 and 5, so 2 is missing, X in there, the second Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown 4, 5, and 5 Special. I would have the first Samurai Showdown instead of, instead of having 5 and 5 Special. That's fine. Fatal Fury 2, 3 Special, Real Bout, Real Bout Special, and Real Bout 2, and Mark of the Wall. So all the great Fatal Furies are in there. Uh, the Auto Fighting 3, The Path of the Warrior, World Heroes Perfect, Auto Fighting 1, but no Auto Fighting 2. Both, uh, well, actually, Sengoku 1, 2, and 3, the entire, um, the entire titles of the series. Savage Rain, Magician, Magician Lord, The Last Blade 1 and 2, Kizuna Encounter, all these are great games of course, uh, Shock Troopers, Super Sidekicks, Top Players Golf, 3 Count Bout, uh, Baseball Stars, and Football Frenzy. Now they're saying that this product is designed and manufactured by Unico, and it's licensed by SNK. Okay, alright, so this is a pocket device, right, that handheld that has Neo Geo games. Excellent, now let's take a look at the, the the supposed design and this is where i'm gonna you know uh voice some concerns so first of all all right this is okay uh we're looking at a device that has uh, both a d-pad and an analog stick now if this is only a neo geo theme like there's only neo geo games i don't understand the need for you know a secondary uh, uh you know uh, a secondary analog i also don't we don't really need the l1 and r1 right and l2 and r2 I mean, maybe you can if you want to put like, I mean, it's, you know, like uh, combination attacks, maybe like A and C, for example, or A and D or A, C, B, C and B, etc. Uh, there's a select button, there's the power, start, there's the D-pad, and then there's, uh, now this is, you know, I was happy to see this, A, C, B, D, because that's how I play, but then there's an updated version of it that says, you know, it's kind of different. So let's take a look here. So this, these are the specs. Uh, so it's an armed quad-core Cortex, 1.5 gigahertz. There's 8 gigs of, of RAM. Uh, no, sorry, 8 gigs of, of storage. 8 gigs of storage. Uh, not 8 gigs of, of, of RAM. There's 1 gig of RAM, actually. It's DDR4, which is plenty. Again, you're running 
you're trying to run Neo Geo games here, right? So that's actually that's actually plenty. Um, then we have uh, the screen is 960. It's a four inch LCD. It actually is actually is for four by three, which is good. Which is good. It's four by three, right? Um, and it comes with Type C, USB, ABS plastic, uh, five volts, uh, one watt speaker times two. So there's like stereo speakers, and then di directional joysticks, D-pad, uh, A, B, C, D. So like start L1, L2, R2, uh, and then also comes with a headphone jack. All right, why not? Right? It doesn't. It doesn't talk about having any sort of uh, Wi-Fi, so I don't think you'll be able to like purchase games. And, and download them at least not directly from uh, from the device, right? Uh, so the inbox items is the console, power cable, and instructions. All right, okay. So this is uh, another design. Now this is the the. It will come in two colors supposedly, the uh, black one and then like a uh, uh, a white one, kind of like similar to like old uh, consoles. We looking at the D pad here. It's still not again. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. This is. This is another the, another look to uh, into it, so you can see the screen is four by three, pretty good. And and again, I'm I'm still questioning the uh, why do you need a secondary analog stick in here, honestly. Um, and this is the the other version. Okay, so let's talk about. Let's go back and talk about. Oh, let's let's just yeah do this one here. They have this, like. King of Fighters themed picture. I think this is from Care of All Star, isn't it? Anyway, so let's talk about things. I think there is a market for this, but under some specific circumstances, right? Um, the thing is, you're trying, if this is just as it is, if these are the confirmed specs, you're going to compete. And by the way, the, the price, the price point they're trying to launch this with for is around $89. Now that this this is going to compete with, you know. Uh, those small, like I just did a review for one recently, uh, like the uh, Ambernic consoles types, you know, and those are usually around that price. Um, it doesn't say, it doesn't have a micro SD, it doesn't look like it has a micro SD, right? So you, you, you they're going to be going into uh, mar mark, you know, like competition with, with those, and those devices are more powerful because they can run uh, other systems, right, as we've seen before. So. This could be very successful, in my own opinion, if it is actually themed as a Neo Geo, like a brand new Neo Geo Pocket that runs Neo Geo games as well as Neo Geo Pocket games. And one way to make it like crazy and, and people go crazy for it and it will sell like hotcakes is if the analog, first of all, ditch that secondary analog and just keep one analog, the one underneath the D-pad and make it like the anal the um, the analog for or the or the, the the controls for the new geo pocket that means micro switches analog stick this would sell like crazy because that would be like a second a new generation neo geo pocket people will buy it like crazy and i don't think it's gonna cost that much to do that uh rather than go for the generic two uh, analog sticks now again this is just the design this is not the final one we haven't seen it announced yet uh, so this could change. As you can see, the, the, these renders have different buttons now. It has A, A uh, C, D, and A, B. I'm not happy about that. But of course, you probably will be able to change the button configuration, which is fine. Uh, but if this is a good D-pad, and if this, again, is an analog like with micro switches, and just get rid of that because it makes no sense if you play Mew G Pocket, you don't need that, then this thing will sell like hotcakes. And just, you know, allow it to have download games to it. Maybe that's the, the different situation, like where you could actually buy Neo Geo Pocket uh, games and Neo Geo games and, and have them in there. And then you'll have an actual new Neo Geo Pocket. And that would go very successful among Neo Geo um, fans and, and, and people who grew up around the arcade days. This could really, really work, right? Uh, but just having it like that at $89 and limited to like 40 games and not having, um, you know, micro SD and it's emulation, it's not FPGA, and you are, as I said, entering into the territory of the Ambernix, which they have so many devices between 60 and 80 dollars, I think. Uh, so it's kind of a tough market. It really is uh, tough. Um, now, again, 
this is just a design. And it really gave me, you know, uh, hope when I saw this. Like, oh my god, this will get a new Geo Pocket. And I was just, I was looking for that analog. Like, I, I hope they're gonna say it has micro switches because that changes everything. But the fact that it doesn't, it doesn't say it at least. And this secondary one just makes no sense to me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, could be interesting, right? Let's see. Let's wait for the official, um, the official announcement. Uh, if, of, of, of this uh, new new Geo theme Unico device, but as I said, if I had you know say, uh, I would absolutely ask them to just and even if they can de delay it, just delay it and have micro switches on this analog stick. It will change everything. People will buy it again. Everybody I know who grew up with the Neo Geo in the arcade days will go ahead and crazy buy it again. Especially put both the Neo Geo and Neo Geo Pocket games in it. And that's you have a brand new Neo Geo Pocket handheld game and it will sell well. But again, just like this, it's a bit risky. We'll see. I'll update you once I hear more if there's any sort of announcement, uh, official announcement. But yeah, this is what we, we're going with right now. Uh, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to see that, you know, there's still um, brand new uh, Neo Geo and SNK themed uh, hardware coming out in, in you know, 2024 and 2025. And beyond, um, which is which is again, it's it's cool. We want to play these games. We want to have them available to us. But again, you have to have something unique in order to compete with existing devices, right? There are hundreds. I mean, maybe hundreds, but there are tons and tons and tons of these tiny emulation devices available on the market right now for around the same price or less. You need to have something unique. Uh, it's great that it's official. Obviously, so you're not going with, with, with like free emulation. Absolutely, I understand that and, and I endorse that and I will support that. Uh, but again, you are entering into an already established market. You need to have something unique. And I think having that micro switches on that stick will absolutely change everything. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost them to do that. Even as I said, even if they, they need more time and increase the price, I'd rather have them do that and release something so unique that it's gonna sell like crazy rather than just draw with you know like put something in the market that is uh going to suffer because there are other options available to to users and you know, users really i mean there are, there are the users there are people like me who would go and support an official product rather than go with emulation but let's be honest a lot of people will not they'll just go with the cheaper and most convenient one right uh, especially looking at the at the specs compared to other specs of devices in the market so it's again it's, it's, you know, if it is exactly what this is, uh, and those analog sticks kind of look like the Switch ones, which are not good, but hopefully this is just the design. Again, this is just a picture, so we can't judge based on that, right? All right, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section what do you think about this uh, supposed um, Neo Geo-styled handheld device. Is it something you're interested in? What are your thoughts if it's actually just, you know, uh, as we're seeing it here, will you buy one? What about if it had micro switches? Would that be something that changed your mind if you were not buying it to buy it? Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.